just finished volunteering at the bake sale i was there for about um two hours and now i'm heading home it's raining i love rain and someone just cut the grass so it smells like rain and fresh cut grass it's the best in my last video i said that i was going to take a practice my first practice mcat exam which i did take and i got the score results so once i get home i'm going to share with you what i got sort of break it down and tell you what my revised study plan is if you guys are interested just keep watching so i just had lunch uh it wasn't that impressive but i thought it tasted pretty good and now i'm going to share with you what score i got on the practice mcat exam i took so i mostly rely on the princeton review mcat uh review books and it's really awesome because if you buy the entire set you also get three free online practice exams and they're structured like the mcat and the software that they use is also very similar to the mcat and i also really like their online exam formatting because after when they give you the score they also show you a very detailed list of your score breakdown and where you lost points i have my laptop right here and we're just gonna get started so just in case you're not familiar the maximum score you can get on the MCAT is a 528 and there's four sections and each of them is out of 132 so the first section is chemical and physical foundations of biological systems oh, this was the one I was most worried about surprisingly um, I got the questions for gases and phase diagrams correct which is so surprising because I wasn't feeling so good about that also remember how I said that um, I did super well in biochemistry. Well, I got four biochemistry questions right and I got four wrong. So obviously I need to work on that too. So for that section, I got a 125. Now let's go to critical analysis and reasoning skills. I was so surprised this was right after physics because like I finished the torture of physics and then I got cars like I forgot about that. I found this kind of difficult but I got a 127 so that's like I'm really proud of myself biological and biochemical foundations of living systems yikes I got most of the questions wrong for the respiratory system as well as the nervous system and as a neuroscience major that's quite disappointing I also got half the questions wrong for immunology and like a lot of questions wrong for biochemistry this is like kind of bad like I should be doing better in biology I got all the questions wrong for thermodynamics that's really sad <laughs> but for that section I got a 125 and lastly psych psychological social and biological foundations of behavior uh, this one wasn't too bad, honestly, but for that section, I got a 129, which is super good. So overall, I got a 506 for my first MCAT score. Uh, honestly, I'm super proud of myself because when I took the test, it was way harder than what I was expecting. With the Princeton review test, they also give you the option of taking the test either um, timed time and a half or double time so I chose to do double time because I wasn't sure how it was going to go and I was like really nervous at the beginning so I took 20 to 30 minutes extra for physics and then I took I think 10 to 15 minutes extra on cars I finished like just within the timed um the normal timed limit for bio and then I finished psychology and sociology in one hour so yeah i found that really interesting even though i think 506 isn't a bad score i definitely want to do better so i'm going to spend the next few days hardcore reviewing some of these concepts before i take another practice test i didn't sleep that well last night so i kind of have like a mini headache and i'm just really tired so i'm just gonna take it easy today i think i might watch game of thrones season two that is how behind I am. But that's going to be all for today. Hopefully that was interesting. And I will see you tomorrow bright and early for another day of studying. Goodbye.
up guys right now it is 6 30 a.m and i'm about to start off my day with studying i would say excuse my outfit choice of yellow t-shirt with my anthropology sweater but i'm staying home studying so i don't really care whether or not i look cute i'm gonna start off today doing some general chemistry review a chapter of physics then i'm probably going to take a break do some bio, take a longer break, and start on biochemistry. I have a list of 10 items that I want to complete or study for today. So I'm just gonna work off of that. We're gonna try to get it all done and it's going to be great. So let's get started. So I started off my day by studying chemical kinetics where I would read the relevant chapter and then summarize key points that I felt like I needed to work on or review. And then I would follow up on the concepts I just learned by doing the free online Kaplan practice questions. And usually I will go back and review the concepts again until I felt pretty comfortable with them. So I basically repeated this exact process for chemical equilibrium, work in energy, the respiratory system, properties and structures of biological molecules, and enzyme structures. So I just finished some more content review um, that I did for biochemistry where I reviewed all the biological properties and molecules and I reviewed the reaction pathways. I also reviewed natural selection, speciation, and evolution. And for all of those, I basically just used the Kaplan channel and their free practice questions. It's 1.30 now and I'm feeling kind of tired since I've been studying this whole time. So I'm gonna take a quick study break and do a 35 minute yoga routine and just de-stress myself. Here I'm reviewing more biochemistry, specifically fat and protein metabolism, after which I follow the same process as before where I would read the textbook, summarize, and do practice questions, and I did that for chemical stability and resonance stabilization. My day is almost over i just have one more thing to do but i want to share with you guys the notes that i got done today so i mostly took notes on the concepts that i felt like i really needed to work on so i took three pages of notes these are all back to back um so yeah it was great it's been a really good day i got a lot done right now i'm going to do one more chapter of the nervous system and then i'm going to do probably three practice passages and then my night is over so hopefully i finish by like 7 30 probably eight but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video if you want to follow along on my mcat studying journey make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video Okay, bye guys.